Hello, hello, Sarah of SEK Handmade here, and today I'm going to share with you how to work the Tunisian Pearl Stitch. Let's go. Tunisian Pearl Stitches create such a fun, bumpy texture on the front side of your Tunisian fabric, and it is called the Tunisian Pearl Stitch, uh, as you might have guessed, because it mimics purling in knitting. So much fun. Let's give it a try. All right, friends, for the Tunisian Pearl Stitch, I'm going to be using my interchangeable Tunisian hook, but I'm just going to be doing a few stitches, so I'm not adding the cord onto it, partly because it's not necessary and partly because when I do for tutorials, it just clanks around and is real annoying. <laughs> if you have a just non-ergonomic crochet hook, you could absolutely practice this stitch with just that. And um, just make sure that it's got a nice, smooth, um, even handle here so that you can stack the loops on like we do in Tunisian crochet. And then it just needs to match up with whatever yarn you want to try the Tunisian pearl stitch with. So to start off, um, a Tunisian purl stitch is a multiple of one. So you can chain any number of chains that you want. I'm going to do five and then I'm going to do my setup round. If you don't know what the setup round is, I will link it in the description below. You can go give it a watch and then come back here and learn the Tunisian purl stitch once you're all set up. I have my five loops on my hook and now I'm just going to complete my return pass. I also have a full tutorial for a return pass. Also, that will be linked below. I'm all set up and ready to try the Tunisian Pearl Stitch. Now, the first step of the Tunisian Pearl Stitch is to bring your yarn to the front of your work. So you're gonna bring your finger down or sometimes when I was just starting out, I found that even just dropping the yarn all the way in the front was helpful just for practice. Eventually, if you're gonna be quick about it, you wanna be able to manipulate that yarn just with your finger, but while you're just practicing, go ahead and just drop it down to the front. Then you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, whichever stitch the Tunisian Pearl Stitch is called for, as if you're gonna Tunisian Simple Stitch. So just right to left through that front bar of your next stitch. Then you're going to bring your yarn, see I tensioned it, and now I'm bringing it back behind my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and then I find just pinching right there at the bottom keeps everything from getting too tight. I'm gonna turn my hook down and pull up my loop and that's my first Tunisian pearl stitch. And then you can just continue in that manner. So bring your yarn to the front insert your hook into the next stitch right to left bring your yarn to the back yarn over pull up a loop one more bring my yarn to the front insert my hook bring it to the back yarn over pull through and there i have three tunisian pearl stitches i'm going to do my final edge stitch the way i always work my edge stitches, and then you complete a return pass, and you have a row of your Tunisian pearl stitches. And there you have it, the Tunisian pearl stitch. It gives such wonderful texture on its own, but it's also used in combination with other stitches to make some really gorgeous Tunisian fabrics. I'll make sure to link to those tutorials in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and maybe even share it with a friend. I hope you enjoy expanding your Tunisian crochet skills, and happy crafting!